Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is our fourth video for Employee Register application, and uh, we are creating this application with Coordinator for MySQL and Bootstrap 5. In our previous video, we have connected uh, with the database, and uh, we will, uh, we have loaded the view in the browser, and we have just simply created the Hello World application. So this is the application I have loaded the Bootstrap 5 also. Now in this video, what we will do, we will fetch the data from the database. So I have inserted single row in the employees data. In our previous video, we have created this table structure for the employees and I have added the row in this table. Now we will fetch the data in our view. Uh, we will fetch the data from the model and pass to the view. So in this video, we will learn how to create model and how to use the model in the controller how to pass the data from controller to view so all these things we will learn in this video so let's start so the first thing I will uh, I will uh, correct one mistake that I have uh, that I have done in my previous video so what I will do we I have I told you that uh, we need to add the database functionality database credentials here in dot env file which is on root we also need to do more, uh, two things more. We need to remove this hash from the line and we also need to define the database uh, credentials in the app config database.php. So here we also need to define this. So username will be root and the password, will, uh, password is empty. In my localhost, if you have set any password, then you can set here. And the database is ci4 m reg okay so now we are properly connected with database now what we will do first of all we will uh, we need to we will check that how we can uh, we will learn how we can pass the data in the view so let's say we have an array and uh, here we have a uh, like uh, data let's say employees okay and in this employee we have an array so like uh, we have a john like we have a alex okay now we need to pass this data with the help of this is the second argument okay so let's say we have a hello world so we will open the hello world hello world we will open the hello world and here we will this we will simply print r so let's check this so we have a john and alex so we can simply pass this array to this and this array this array key will become the uh, variable so here you can see i have a uh, printing this variable now we will fetch the data in this array from the database so let's uh, go to creating the model so i will create the model uh, okay so save this and I'll go to the app models and here I will create the model employee model dot php okay and the first the first line what I will do namespace namespace is namespace is app models okay so this is namespace and the second line is we will use the base model we will use the core model of the uh, code igniter which comes when we when we have installed the code igniter it comes with the uh, code igniter that is a base model okay so we will use code igniter model and we will extend this model in uh, we will extend this model to creating our so here we will employ model extends 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 model this means i am getting the all functionality of model and i will all i am also adding the functionality in this uh, model with all this uh, with, with all this functionality that is exist in the uh, in the uh, parent model so this is the parent and this is the child model okay so it is also known as known as inheritance <clears throat> now we will here define define the variable table 
so this table will contain the table name so this is employee now here i will create the method get all so this get all will fetch the data in this get all i will fetch the data so dollar this find find all i am using this find all because of i am extending the parent model in this this find all defined the uh, this find all function is defined in the parent model so that i am using this okay and because we are extending this model so that uh, we can uh, we can use this dollar this uh, dollar this uh, variable in this class so get all and find all now we will now we will use this model employee model in our controller so here we, we will do use app models and here we will use employee model okay and now what we will do here i am passing this data statically now i will pass this data dynamically so first of all i will get the model in variable new employee model and this from this model i will call the class get all okay so this employee fetching all the data from the model and here i have i am using this model so these so these are the important steps the first is to need you need to create the model then you need to use that model and then you can uh, use this model uh, uh, with this kind this kind of code so now let's go to the hello world and let's see what we have so here you can see we have a data we have a first we have a all data from this table okay so now what we will do here we will show this data in a table so i will create the home.php i will not use hello world.php and i will create the home.php i will copy the code from this hello world is just for testing and i will change this like home page and here i will do employees data uh, you can see all data okay let's close this so i have closed the home page also let's open this so now we need to call this from our controller home.php and uh, i will not use the hello world model i will use the index model showing the data so i will copy this and paste it here and i will remove this from the hello world functionality and here i will use home.php and i will remove this hello world and here you, we have loading the data in the home.php now what i will do here i will use the bootstrap card so i will use let's quickly create the structure uh, first of all i will create this in container and margin top i will define some margin top and define the card in the container okay and let's say we have a, uh, all data and this will be our card header and let's say we have a card body and in the card body we will define the data in the table format uh, let's say okay so we will define the data in the table format table border so these classes are bootstrap classes you can read about this okay now we have a tr in tr we will th and this will be id the first column will be id and the second column will be full name and the third column will be mobile number and the fourth column will be department okay and now let's uh, let's uh, view this in our uh, browser so we refresh this so this is the thing and one thing more we need to add we need to add the action okay 
so let's say we have action now we will fetch the data we will show the data in loop because we have multiple rows so we will run the loop so this will be employee as dollar m and in this we will iterate the sorry in this we will iterate the tr and this will be id then we need uh, we will fetch the full name mobile department so this will be full name mobile and department teacher so we have uh, so here you can see data is coming and when you hover on the row then it is a uh, something a different color in background because of this table hover class and border is coming uh, around the table because of table border class okay so you can find uh, you can uh, read the documentation of bootstrap 5 they have beautifully explained each and everything so you can read that and uh, this is the modify button we will create also we will get the update insert delete uh, in this uh, series so we will cover all the things button like info so this is the this is the info button and uh, this is the danger button so we will say delete and let's say private not info yeah so on click on the modify we, we can uh, we will create a form in which data will come of john and then we can uh, submit that form and up data will be updated and uh, when we click on this delete it will delete the row from the database so we will perform this functionality in our upcoming videos and uh, in this video i just want to show you how we can create the model and how we can attach the model with the controller and how we can pass the data from controller to view and uh, finally we are fetching the data in our uh, a template structure in our view structure okay so i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, uh, you will like this video and uh, if you have not subscribed this channel then please subscribe and share this video as much as possible and you can learn lots of things uh, in this channel i will upload lots of things uh, in the web development or uh, in the journal programming I will upload lots of things so please subscribe this channel and share this video and thanks for watching this video thank you thank you so much